ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Peppermint Recaps, RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Uh, it's episode 12 and we have a lot to cover. But before we get started, make sure you click like and subscribe and share this video to your heart's content. I want everybody to see it. I want your mama to see it. I even want Comey to see it. I want Trump to see it. I want them all to see this video. So make sure you get to that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final four. And I'm so excited, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe I made it! Ah! So, let's go back to the beginning of the episode. We just lost Alexis Michelle. And now we find out that our brand new challenge for this week, the ultimate challenge, is to record an original song with RuPaul. Now, of course, she pre-recorded her section of it. Um, but I, this is my dream. This is what I wanted to do the entire time. And um, I'm really happy we got a chance to do it. So we each had to write a section of the song, our own verse, and then we record it with the fabulous Todrick Hall. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do. I've written a lot of music before. As soon as you watch this video, I expect you're gonna go and click on all the links and all the videos that I have to check out what those videos are. But, you know, writing a song is not that easy, especially when you got lights, cameras, action on you. So we were all kind of, I had writer's block in the beginning, but the session with Todrick was super fantastic. He was really encouraging. I expected them to do something crazy like, you know, have the tape fly out of the player or like have the recording stop, something. But it actually kept going. It was fantastic. He gave me a lot of good notes. He told me to kind of relax into it. I think I was really nervous. And um, I was really happy with my verse. But I didn't really get to hear what any of the other girls were gonna do. So I had nothing to really judge it on until we actually started rehearsing. The recording part was pretty smooth, but the actual choreography and rehearsal was insane. I think they were trying to up the ante from All Stars 2. It was too much. He started with me, which I felt kind of good with, and I was getting it, but I didn't realize we were gonna have to do choreography for the entire song. And I was really afraid that I was gonna bust my face on that stage, y'all. That stage is slippery as hell. So if you were auditioning for Drag Race, get some rubber on the bottom of your shoes. <laughs> I was actually kind of worried for Sasha because it was a lot of choreography and I didn't think she was actually picking it up that well until she got that death drop. Bitch nailed the death drop. Go ahead, Sasha. So we performed the piece and I think the judges pretty much liked everything. I mean, I think we all had a really good showing. So now it's time for the runway. And this time we get to do our best drag. What represents you the best? What do you just wanna wear? I wanted to do something that was kind of peppermint, but upgraded. And so I decided to do a fabulous gown uh, made by the wonderful designer Whitney Newman. I wanted something regal. I wanted something sassy and classy. You know, that's my stuff. Here's a little tidbit. There's a really, really talented designer named Garo Sparrow, who I've worked with before. He's fantastic. And he also made me a gown, but I had to choose between the two. Now, this gown was stunning that he made me, but I decided to go with the Whitney Newman gown. And guess what, y'all? I accidentally left the gown at RuPaul's Drag Race on set on the studio. So the next girl that auditions and gets onto the show, you're probably gonna have a fabulous gown waiting for you. It might not be your size, because obviously I'm a size. 200. Anyway, the point is, I wore this gorgeous gown and I wanted to kind of paint myself gold. I had the worst time painting my face gold, ladies and gentlemen, but I wanted to do something that was kind of special. Um, and I think I achieved it. You let me know what you think in your comments below. So now here comes that moment. RuPaul asks us, why should you be America's next drag superstar? I think the answer that I gave was as honest as I could have. I was expecting her to ask that question. And I think I got that right. But when she pulled a switcheroo on us on the runway, I kind of gagged. I was not expecting her to ask us to speak to our younger selves. And I think that's kind of an emotional thing for anybody, but for someone who's trans, it can really be emotional. And I wasn't prepared to lose all that eyeliner on the stage, but I cried. And to be honest with you, I was really, really overcome with emotion just of the question, but also the fact that she and the producers had the respect and love and concern and thought to not use my old name, which is kind of a, it's an issue for trans people. Sometimes it can be. Um, 
And so I noticed that initially, like right away, that she didn't use my old name. And I felt that she was really taking care of my trans identity. And so it really kind of made me really emotional. Um, and I lost it. And it was like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even talk. So could you understand what I was saying? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't know, tweet me and I'll tell you if I can remember. I'll try to translate. Anyway, translate. <laughs> I've really enjoyed myself on Drag Race this season and I want to take home the crown. So if you believe in me, make sure you post hashtag Team Peppermint. That's all you need to do. RuPaul is watching and I don't want to disappoint mama. <laughs> I'll see you at the finale.